Well, making images is a very difficult endeavor. Um, making great images is even more difficult. And you have to know the mechanics of it. You have to know how to set up a composition. You're working within a two, three, five ratio frame and you have to draw the audience in to that world. Ralph had the uncanny ability to be able to filter whatever his influences were, whatever George's words were, and reinterpret them in a way that only Ralph could put down on his illustration board. And all those thoughts, all the love of all the characters that he designed, and you know, his soul really was what he was putting on, on the art. And it was a direct transmission. And when I looked at those paintings, I saw all that. So beyond the little brush strokes and the technical ability, I saw what Ralph was trying to say. Because deep inside, he's a fine artist. And we all try to have our own voice as artists. And Ralph found his voice. And Star Wars became his megaphone. He didn't have to speak because his work spoke for him. Here's, here's, you know, you get it, you take a look, you're, that's awesome. And, you know, you really didn't have much question. Uh, Ralph's artwork is very much very like him. You know, it had a, had a, uh, a complete and yet calm quality about them. You know, it was, uh, and they also, it was like you saw it and you saw a star, a story. Uh, that's, that was one of the things that was interesting, I thought about the, his artwork just with the type of work he did, the consistency of it across so many different projects, how it was all so high quality. You know, he, he comes from that era where I think he was very obviously committed to his work, very detail-oriented in his work. When you talk to him on a one-to-one on -one level, you talk to the man. But when, you, when he does his work, which I've never seen him do, I've never seen him work, you know, at his table, I think uh, magic just pours out of him. Ralph is a really sweet guy. He's so cooperative and worked so hard and really wanted things to be right. And he was so easy to work with. You know, you just say, why don't we do this? And he'd go, okay. You know, there was never a confrontational situation with Ralph at all. And it was so easy and fun to work with him. Ralph was a gentle man in every meaning of that word. He was so nice and and sweet tempered and and you could tell there was that brilliance there but there was no ego attached to the brilliance and most of all Ralph was a storyteller and and George was a storyteller which is why I think they got along so well and if Ralph had an ego Ralph suppressed the ego because he knew he was working for a visual genius too the quality of his work is the quality of the man. He was uh, one of the most intelligent, gentle, uh, aware, sensitive people I've ever met. And if I never was aware of what he did creatively, it was a privilege just to know a man like that. Um, for me, Ralph will always be remembered as uh, just a, a great, great person who, uh, just made phenomenal images out of words, you know, out of, out of George talking or him reading the script, uh, taking that and putting it into a three-dimensional uh, image that uh, everybody remembers still to this day. And I got, to, I got to personally use them. I mean, what a great thing for me to be able to work from a Ralph McCrory artwork. One of the qualities I really admired about Ralph is how gentle and humble he, he was. Um, I've never met a more talented person than him. And for him to be the person who he is, you know, just artistically, you know, with his sense of design and painting skills. But I really liked his sort of gentleness in his approach. Uh, he was very giving. I mean, he was amazingly modest. I mean, to the point where, you know, I wish Ralph would actually acknowledge how great he was. And there are qualities now that I actually try to live up to because I think they're really great. I mean, Ralph obviously knew that he was a talented artist, but the fact that he didn't have to carry himself as that was really, you know, a, a way to live. And I think the thing that 
I admired most and will remember most about Ralph is, you know, he was a humble genius. The way I remember Ralph was just as like a sort of ridiculously kind person. He was, he had this like very sly sense of humor. Um, it was, it was very dry, you know, it was um, very playful. Ralph always has that uh, kind of a sly grin or uh, a small chuckle on his face or a smile and, and uh, he always looks like he's enjoying himself, that was for sure. My, my strongest sense of, of Ralph is the gratitude for having known him and what he brought to my life and that wonderful smile and that face and that you can see it, you see it in far portraits of him. The, the man was, uh, his soul was translucent. I'll definitely remember Ralph as uh, the probably the biggest influence on on my career, on on me deciding to become an artist to to work on this type, to do this type of work. I'll always remember Ralph um, just because daily he's uh, it's it's like a a, a slideshow in my mind. Um, it, it, there's this it's it's a constant. Uh, reference wheel in my mind of Ralph's work and I just by remembering the work you remember the artist and by remembering the artist you kind of channel that a little bit into, into what you do. I remember Ralph Macquarie every day. He he was so much bigger than life without meaning to be. His spirit infuses so much of what I have around me, 9,000 square feet of Star Wars. I mean literally and figuratively because he's the guy working with George who came up with the visual parameters that made Star Wars what it was. This incredible far off place, the used universe, the most amazing things that I could never think about or come up with. And yet meeting him and knowing how humble a guy he was and that this came out of somebody like that I mean, when I think back, I think at least subliminally, Ralph was an influence on me. His manner of dealing with people, his being nice and open to anyone who would ask him for reasonable kinds of things. I think that's what I've tried to adopt in, in working for Lucasfilm, in, in my relations with fans. And, and, you know, Ralph was a template of that. Ralph was a model of that and being surrounded by his work in the library and on the walls. And it's a, it's a wonderful remembrance of, of a giant, a giant. I think I knew Ralph way better before I even met him, just seeing his art. And like I said, seeing what he brought, the sensitivity of every brushstroke, the level of detail, and the care of craftsmanship that he imbued in every one of his paintings. I could tell what kind of man he was, uh, gentle, self-assured in my eyes, and uh, driven, ab absolutely driven in a very, very gentle way, but he was unassuming as, as far as he didn't have a huge ego or anything like that, but that gentle soul could create battle scenes of such ferocity in the illustration. That, to me, was incredible. He was a very gentle, shy, quiet man who was a powerhouse of design and paint and, and uh, um, illustration, which is really, that, which is what I was saying earlier, is that there's the man and then there's the artwork. And it's sometimes you're, you have trouble marrying the two going, this man, this quiet, gentle man is creating this in ex incredibly powerful work. I mean, but that's art, you know? Sometimes we hold everything in, some of us artists, so that we can express it all on the illustration board, on the canvas. And I think that that's what Ralph is, you know, is a powerhouse uh, from within. Oh, I, I'll just remember Ralph in, in the, you know, the visuals he gave us. I, I always think in the back of a book when you see a picture of him kind of sitting there with his, his art table, but he's just so alive every day in the work that we're doing. And that's another thing is like, 
you bring those designs to life, the artist is, is as alive as ever. And he'll be alive now for generations of kids to come. You know, and I think it's important for everybody that's working now to acknowledge Ralph and, and respect him because that means, you know, 20 years from now, there's gonna be some kid that picks up a, you know, whatever Clone Wars book. And if it says in the caption, which it should, inspired by Ralph and Corey design, they'll go back and look at Ralph's work and they'll continue back and see where it all comes from, which was a really important thing for all of us. And that's, I mean, more, we just always wanted to do that for Ralph. When we got on this show, we all had in common that um, we just love his work. And if we can find any way to acknowledge his work and respect that work through our work, then we're doing Star Wars right and we're doing a good service to him. So, you know, he's, He's one with the Force, you know, literally. I mean, I don't know if there's anybody more one with the Force than Ralph. In a lot of ways, he designed the Force. What is that? Is that intangible? I don't know. But Ralph does. He would. He could design it. do we always uh, use the library of information and the drawings and the from the archives to say we want things to be consistent if this is what Tatooine looks like